Okay, at the hub. We got Moo Moo's. Caravan drivers. Police officer. Keep your nose clean while you're in, in our city. You see Dan. Sorry, I can't talk. I've got a business to run. I'll be back. friend deputy tony fry at your service what is this place oh a newcomer welcome to the hub you've reached the biggest city on the coast heck maybe the biggest city in the world for all we know i thought you were part of the caravan did you come in with them yes i'm not surprised most of the new members of our city come in with the caravans even with the missing caravans we've had it's a fine city, but be careful who you associate with. People like Decker and his thugs can get you into a lot of trouble. He owns the Maltese Falcon in the Merchant Market, but I wouldn't associate with him if you want to stay out of trouble. He's nothing but a murdering animal. The sheriff won't let me arrest him without proof. What was that about missing caravans? It's a tragedy, really. Some caravans have turned up missing. Butch over at the Fargo Traders is offering a reward for information or something. You should check at the Merchant Market if you're interested. Where can I make some money? Why, that would be the Merchant Market, a few miles south of here. Two of the caravan houses are located there. The third is further south. I'd recommend the Fargo Traders. They pay well and they're not too crazy. Do you know where I could find a water chip? My vault chip uh, malfunctioned and we need another one immediately. Water chip? Well, I've never heard of one. If it has to do with water though, you should tr talk to the water merchants. Their headquarters are located further south, past the downtown area. You have a hospital? I'm injured. Oh, sorry, I hadn't noticed. The children run the hospital next to the water merchants. Go south past the merchant market and you'll see it just northwest of the water merchants. Hope everything goes okay. I have a crime to report. Really? I, uh, you should talk to the sheriff. I can't leave my post right now. I've got to uh, fend off any raiders that might come. Plus, I'm not very good with reports. Oh, Deputy Fry, you're fried. Ooh, who's in here? Police officer. Sir. See if I can loot anything. Police officer! Police officer! You, Mr. Officer. Welcome to my humble house. What can I do for you? Could you tell me a little about the hub? It's a sprawling city, the largest I've seen in my life. The center of the town lies to the south, with the other areas branching off in each direction from there. Supplies. 
I get everything that I need from Mitch, down by the Maltese Falcon. Head on down south from here. If I was looking for a job, where would be a good place to start? I occasionally do a stint with one of the caravans that head out of here. If you're looking for that kind of work, just talk to one of the trading houses. I'm partial to the Fergo traders, but I work with all of them. Where can I find supplies? He answered that. Can I ask you another question? Ammo weapons. Well, I buy most of my stuff from Beth over in the weapon store. Got a pretty good selection. What would I do if I was looking for something a little more exotic? I've heard there is some guy over in Old Town that deals in stuff with a little more punch. Who's the law around here? Well, you probably passed Deputy Fry on your way down here. His boss is Sheriff Green, and you'll find him in the police station most of the time. Thank you! Okay. Don't mind me, mister. I'm just gonna loot your house. Um, I guess not. Somebody already beat me to it. Okay, so there's the market sign. Crimson Caravan. General Store. Over to the Crimson Caravan. This is the Crimson Caravan. I did some work for them. They do a lot of high-risk jobs. Hey there, how are you doing? My name's Dimitri, Dimitri Romera, head of the best damn caravan in the waste. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty strong. Yeah, so? What's it to you? I'll go with, yeah, so? That's just what we're looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemy in two, seeing the fear rise. Ah, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well, and we pay well. Oh yes we do. We've just had a few new openings, if you're interested. But of course, you are, right? What's the pay? Actually, I want to know about the missing caravans. Not much. I've only lost two. I really have no idea why they're hitting the Fargo traders more than anyone else. Any suspicions? Whoever is doing this has got to have one hell of a raiding party. Our caravans are well armed and you would think that someone would have gotten away by now. They don't leave a trace. So how much does that job pay? We pay 600 hub bucks a job. That's each way. Hell, people say that we take all the dangerous routes, but I say they're all most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life? Am I right? Of course I am. Hell, I think that's just what I'm looking for. Do you always talk so loud? Dangerous. I'll just go with the first one. Damn straight it is. Just go talk to Carrie in the next room. She'll let you know when the next caravan is leaving. So that old bastard gave you the okay to work for us, eh? Well, you must be one tough bitch. I'm impressed, but well... Uh, we'll see how you do. We leave only twice a month on the 3rd and the 17th. Can you handle that? We go to all the local hotspots. The Brotherhood of Steel, Junktown, Necropolis, and the Boneyard. Hey. Okay? Our pay is the best. 600 scripts, and yes, it is for each way. But you don't have to do both. This is a pretty tough caravan ride. And you're almost guaranteed to run into some raiders, or worse. We'll have no sissies on my caravans, and you better have plenty of ammo. We leave on January 17th. Are you interested? Maybe. Whatever. 
If you get the urge for some action, come back and I'll hook you up. Next caravan out. Ooh. What else can I loot? What else can I loot? another entrance. Oh yeah, the Maltese Falcon. Let's go to the general store. How oh, may I help you today? I'd like to buy something. Great, here's what I have. Ooh, Geiger counter. Motion sensor. Actually, a motion sensor. I had great luck with those in Fallout 2. Ah, books. Okay, how much money do I have? That is the question. That. That. Yeah, I have three, three grand. Okay, um, I'll take one of them. Okay, that's a good trade. Done. There. Sometimes when you go to different tables, the guys will offer you something a little bit different in their inventory. Sometimes not. This guy, apparently not. FLC. You see a shifty looking character. So, uh, what you doing in the hub? You see where that is any of your business. Why? Looking for something that I need. Well, you look like a businesswoman, and I'm in a business, so I thought we could, uh, discuss, uh, business? Well, what do you do around here? Uh, I think I'm just gonna give you the business. I don't think I want anything to do with your business. Well, what do you do around here? I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I get things and information for people, whatever they might need or be looking for. Well, I do need some things. Anything you can tell me about specifically? So, you're looking for information, huh? Being a respectable businessman, I've 
God's overhead. So I'll need a few caps to tell you what. Now that we got that straight, what you want to know about? Anything you know about water chips, you can tell me. What do you know about Decker? Well, I'm looking for a certain commodity, if you know what I mean. Now, normally I don't mind selling information, but you're not going to get anything at a lemme about Decker. Okay, can I ask you about some other things? Sure, what do you, what else do you want to know? What do you want to know? <laughs> what do you know about Decker? <laughs> Okay, anything you anything you know about water chips that you can tell me? So you think I might know a little more about those water chip things, huh? Well, you might be right. It's gonna cost you though. I think 500 bottle caps ought to do it. Uh, I think you need to tell me right now and without the freaking caps. Okay, okay. See, I was just kidding about paying for the info. Good joke, huh? Well, so here's what I know about the water chips. The things I've heard is that they used to come from the vaults. I was looking. So if I was looking for one, I'd find out where the rest of these vaults were. I'm not sure where all the vaults are exactly, but I've heard that there are about four around here somewhere. I want to ask you a few more questions. Sure, what do you want to know? Well, I'm looking for a certain commodity, if you know what I mean. Stuff for needs, huh? Well, I knows a guy over in Old Town that can probably fix you up with some other stuff like that. But you know what? He needs to know who you are before you show up at his doorstep. Let me guess. This invite's gonna cost me. I can see where this is going. I can find him on my own. Exactly. So I'm thinking for you, of course, a thousand caps. So you can talk to this guy without him blowing your head off first. Price, 800 caps. Because you like me so much, Lemmy, why don't you just do it for free? as you flex your muscles. Trying to intimidate poor Lemmy, huh? Well, I was not afraid of the likes of you. I'll just be seeing you around. Sorry man, got things to do. Nice chatting with you though. Cause I don't want to pay you crap, man. Someone's trying to talk to us. Aren't we supposed to kill them if we if if they do that? If you want company, rent a hooker. I'm busy. I ain't paid to talk. Oh, they're so kind to women. Lorenzo. Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo the Munificent. At your service. I give out loans. Only 10% daily interest. Maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution. Anywhere in the hub. Uh, actually I was hoping you could share some information. Well, I suppose, what do you need to know about? What about those missing caravans? Deathclaw, it's gotta be the Deathclaw, no one's safe anymore. What about the Deathclaw? And some of the stories they say about that thing are just, well, they're something. Tell me about Decker. He's a great guy, a good source of jobs to pay off my loans. Tell him I sent you. You might get a bonus. Bonus? What do you mean? Well, maybe not a bonus, but he's a great guy, trust me on that one. What about the local police? They're great guys, it's true, we have the occasional misunderstanding, but I think they're a credit to their species. Whatever one that is. 
Misunderstandings? Like what? Can you believe someone accused me of extortion? Fortunately, my good friend Decker set them straight. Uh, tell me about yourself. I'm just a respectable businessman, that's all. We Giovannis have been respectable businessmen since the days before the Holocaust. Now that's tradition. What's your idea of respectable? You don't show us respect, you get hurt. How much more respectability can a man ask for? What about the children of the cathedral? I can't say I'm too impressed. I run an honest, respectable business, and they accuse me of being a thief. The nerve of those people. They think a vow of poverty gives them the right to judge me. Where does a person find work around here? You should try Mr. Decker. Exciting work is a exciting work at great prices. The best in town. And he's just across the street. You can't get a better convenience than that. What kind of excitement? Adventure, danger. You can really make a killing. Well, bye. See you around, pal. Hey, man. My sneaks higher. I plan on robbing you. Just thought I'd let you know. It's Bob, proprietor of Bob's Iguana Bits. Hi, welcome to Bob's Iguana Bits, the family eating place. Can I take your order? Give me an iguana and a stick. What can you tell me about a water chip? What can you tell me about Decker? Go with water chip first. Never seen any of them around here. Water merchants don't need them. Water merchants? You must be new in town, if you're asking me. You must be new in town if you're asking me about the water merchants. Water is life, and you don't get more powerful than life and death. What can you tell me about Decker? Mr. Decker is a distinguished businessman in a less than distinguished business. Anything else? Do you know anything about the missing caravans? Terrible business. Those poor people. Oh, those poor people. Losing their lives in such a ghastly way. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Like, feed you perhaps? Anything interesting happening in the hub? Well, the only new thing is that the children of the cathedral has taken over the hospital. It's pretty boring around here lately. Anything else? Well, I think we need to talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredients. What are you talking about? Your secret ingredients, how fresh does the corpses have to be before it develops a bitter aftertaste? Do you use mutants, humans, or a mix? I found an invoice on Doc Morbid's lair, an invoice for dead bodies. If you've got memory loss, I can talk to the sheriff. Uh, prime choice select is made of people. It's made of people. Not so loud. I don't need you saying that all over the hub. I guess I was rude. Have a nice day. You know, the police station is just across the street. I really should take a little walk. I can get even louder, but I can also shut up. Noise is cheap. Silence is expensive. Tempting, tempting, tempting. I think I'm just going to play it neutral this time. See how long I can get away with talking to him? Uh, right after I report him to the police. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We got a a bulletin board. Need work? The Fargo traders are currently filling the following positions. Caravan guards. Must be in good physical condition and dependable. Special position must be observant and willing to travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Inquire with Rutger at the Fargo Trader's office. Alright, so I keep getting directed to the Fargo Traders. Pop out of the police first though.
Air Sheriff Green, and Deputy Kenny. If you have business with the Hub Police, please talk to Sheriff Green. I only take care of duties when the Sheriff is unavailable. Hello, ma'am. The name's Justin Green. I'm the Sheriff of this fine city. Is there something I can do for you this fine day? Doing a fine job. Well, thank you. We try our best. It's really tough in a city this size, but we do our best we can with what we've got. It's hard when the thugs have better firepower than you. Okay, I have a crime to report. Well, spit it out. Nothing, sorry. Oh wait, sorry, I can't tell you I'd be dead. Oh, we couldn't have that, but if you ever change your mind, please let me know. It's a dangerous place out there, and someone has to stand up for what's right. <laughs> yeah! I'll be back later. Check some... Checking some guns. Guns? They might sell guns there. It's Beth, the owner of the weapon shop. Hi there, how can I help you? Can I ask you a few questions? I want to buy something. Is there any place in town I should avoid? Oh yes, you ought to stay as far away from the Maltese Falcon as you possibly can. Decker and his greasy lapdog, Kane, are bad news. They'll eat you alive, if you're not careful. I'd also give Lorenzo at the Friendly Lending Company a wide berth. Can I ask you some questions? Of course you can, don't be silly! What can you tell me about Decker? Now there's someone you don't ever want to mess with. He scares me, he owns the Maltese Falcon. Why did you say it like that? He owns the Maltese Falcon. Does he scare you? Sorry, it just reminds me of a friend that used to own it before him. Decker wanted it really bad, but my friend wouldn't sell. Two days later, they found him dead in the back alley of Old Town. Why do you think Decker's responsible? My friend was a clean freak. He wouldn't come up within a hundred yards of Old Town. He was shot with a magnum. No one in Old Town could afford those. Plus, he was shot once in the head and twice in the back. Does that sound like a robbery? My friend was just trying to get his life back. Get his life back? You probably don't understand, but most of us all look forward to the day when, when we own our own lives. When our lives don't belong to the merchants or the moneylenders. lenders. ever stop talking? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Okay, let's go with... Oh, thanks. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, what can you tell me about the different merchants? Well, there are three main merchant groups. There's the water merchants, the crimson caravan, and the Fargo traders. They also run the city council you want to know about. Let's go with the water merchants. They're in charge of all the water. Greedy people. I wouldn't work... I wouldn't want to work for them. Their pay is the worst, and the jobs are just as bad. Did they always control all the water? No, from what I heard a while back, a group of merchants seized control of the water tower and proclaimed that they were the water merchants and people had to get water from them. The merchant war raged on for many years until a man named Roy Green, yeah, Justin Green's grandfather, that's it, helped in negotiating an agreement that ended the war. Kind of an agreement. Well, he set up the city council and set a limit of the price of water. Personally, I think they should have beat the car out of them. Oh, sorry. I mean, they should have showed them who's boss. Great, I didn't need quite that much information, but thanks just the same. Thanks, I got another question about the merchants. Uh, Crimson Caravan. The Crimson Caravan are a bunch of crazy people. They will do any job, no matter what the risk. I'm surprised they aren't missing more caravans than they are. They're missing caravans too? 
actually all the merchants have had a few caravans disappear. The Fargo traders are just unlucky, I suppose. How risky. They pass right through the area known to be attacked by raiders. They charge a lot so they can hire extra hands. The pay's great, but you have to be alive to spend it, right? Uh, let's ask another question. Fargo traders. Fargo traders pay well and their jobs aren't too deadly. Butch owns this shop. A good man. They're fair and let me do as I please with this place. I like working with them. Plus, you get a discount on anything you buy here if you work for Butch. The city council. There are six representatives, two from each of the main merchant groups. Everything needs at least four votes to be passed. They can never agree on anything. That's all. Thanks for the information. Wait. Ask questions. Oh, yes. Have you heard any good rumors? No, that's all. Was there something else you want to talk about? Yes. That's all, bye.